Clytus, I'm bored. What plaything can you offer me today? An obscure body in the SK system, Your Majesty. The inhabitants refer to it as the planet Earth. Hey, hey, everybody, this is the Review Revolution coming back at you with a Biff Bang Pow, officially licensed Flash Gordon, Savior of the Universe. Uh, back in 1980, uh, Universal Pictures took the famous Flash Gordon comic book and uh, and made it the real life action movie, the live action movie. Uh, it started it starred uh, Sam Jones as Flash and Max von Zindow as uh, Ming. Uh, also had Timothy Dalton playing uh, playing uh, the Baron. So it was a it was a very very well acted movie, but not all well received. I could go on about the movie, you know, through this whole review and then plus some. It is a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, mostly for the camp, but it's also a good action film. So, you know, I definitely recommend anyone who doesn't know it or hasn't seen it, look it up. You know, go down, try and find it. It's, it's worth having. And certainly, once you've seen it, the figures are worth getting. Uh, looking at the package here, you can see Sam Jones in his... Street clothes for Flash, and then of course the figure. Once you've seen the movie, this uh, this little accessory, this little Fabergé egg he's got, is going to make a little more sense. But looking at the back, we see the figure out of his pack. The scene or a pose from the scene that this took place. A few other figures that are in the wave. Um, we've got Flash and uh, his Mungo suit, um, both with a laser gun and a sword, it looks like. His street clothes version, which is this one. Dale Arden in her black wedding dress. There was a white one, which I think is a Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, two versions of Ming, one in red and one in black. We've got uh, Prince Baron, again, the uh, Timothy Dalton character. And then Clytus, which I'll talk more about him when I actually get to his review. But uh, on the, on the uh, bio here, Flash Gordon, Flash Gordon, an American football star and titled character in the classic 1980 film Flash Gordon, unwillingly travels aboard a rocket ship to the planet Mungo. In order to save the Earth from impending destruction, Flash must unite the kingdoms of Mungo to defeat the evil Emperor Ming. So, it's all stuff that's based on the old comic. Uh, it's just uh, it's just that they got Alex Ross to design the uh, the sculpts that eventually became the figures, which. Hey, I, I, I think it's fun. I think it's great. I'm glad we got him. Uh, we'll take a few moments. We'll, pop, <laughs> we'll pop Flash here out of the, uh, out of the pack, uh, get a closer look at the figures, and see how he turned out. So I'll see you in just a bit. Okay. Well, first off, before we get to Flash, I just want to say that say what you will about blister card packaging versus clamshell. Clamshell packaging does hold... Everything inside it, exactly the way it was originally sealed. Um, uh, odors included. So, <laughs> be warned, if you get the clamshell, clamshell version of this figure, when you open it up, uh, you're going you're gonna to get a good hit of some plastic and paint and some really smelly stuff. So, just don't want to get that out of the way. Uh, but, uh, but looking at Flash... What an impressive figure, really. I, I wasn't sure whether or not Biff Bang Pow was going to go with a kind of NECA style of figure, where, you know, we wouldn't get really a lot of articulation, but a really good sculpt, or if we would kind of lose part of the uh, part of the sculpt and, and get some, you know, fair amount of articulation. They found kind of a happy medi medium. Uh, I think there's a few things that they could have put in that would have made it nicer, but for the most part... I like Flash. I think this was actually a very nice figure. Uh, take a look at him. You can see on his chest, the letters Flash are spelled out very nicely. No plain applications, no splatters, nothing nasty there. His, coll his collar is a little off. I mean, it doesn't, uh, doesn't come all the way down. So that's kind of a, a, a little of a, of a disappointment there. Uh, he's got the lightning bolt, the flash bolt on the back. Again, very clean, very nice. Uh, along the edges on his arm. I don't know if it's supposed to come up to the cut here. 
Uh, it doesn't look like it does it on either side, so I, I'm going to I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say no. But um, but that you can see on the back, it's not quite painted all the way down either. Uh, the hair is nice. It looks like there's actually a fair amount of highlight in the hair. The face, I mean, a, a really nice uh, uh, take on Sam Jones' uh, Sam Jones's mug. I mean, just really good. Uh, it's got his rich wristwatch. The belt is a little sloppy. It's got a little plaint splotches. But, you know, for the most part, for, for being, you know, uh, uh, the first Flash figure I think there's been, it's actually not too bad. You can see down the shoes are, are nicely painted. Kind of a... Not not Nike, <laughs> not Nike, uh, but uh, but actually really nice. Uh, the sculpt on, on him is good. He's got some you know crinkles in his shirt, and uh, you can see in the pants the folds that go down, uh, come down over his shoes. So I like the sculpt. Got the laces. It's actually pretty good. Uh, his articulation. Uh, now basically, the articulation articulation wise, he's got a ball jointed head, so he can look up and down, head turns. He has a, a ball socket arm, but it really is only going to come up to about there. Not really much, oops, not really much you're going to see there. I uh, did just show the swivel and the hinge on the elbow. Nothing on the wrist. Would have been nice to have had a wrist, particularly with the accessory he has. The wrist would have been nice, would have been good, but Again, I'm not. I'm not really going to complain. Uh, his legs do come out at the knee, but nothing at the foot. So as much as articulation, he, oh, and he has a twist at the waist. So as much articulation as he's got, kind of on the upper part of his body, the lower torso and legs, yeah, not so much. But for posing and for display, I, I, again, I think this is a really great Flash figure. Uh, certainly one that if uh, if you are a sci-fi fan, you'll probably want to uh, collect with the rest of the set because he, he just looks really good. Uh, as I mentioned, he's got his little Fabergé egg, which for his street clothes, for the scene where he wears this outfit, this was probably the... it was really nice for him to throw this in. Because when you see the movie, you'll, you'll remember, or if you've seen the movie, you remember, where he actually uses this as a football... <laughs> to basically take on Ming's guards in probably one of the most memorable scenes of the movie. Now, it does peg in. It's, it doesn't peg in real well. The hand's actually, oops, the hand's actually kind of, kind of thin, so it doesn't peg in real well. But, again, if it's just going to be there for display, then by all means, bravo. Bravo. Um... Now, the uh, Biff Bang Pal has talked about doing a uh, kind of a Mego style uh, Flash figure, kind of a kind of the you know uh, uh, Barbie style figure. Eh, I don't know if I'll be getting those. I would really like to see another wave of these Flash figures come out. Um, not to say anything about it, about the characters that are out there now, but throughout these reviews, I'll certainly uh, I'll certainly mention some of the other characters that I would like to see. Um, one of the big ones, of course, being. Uh, uh, Voltan, you know, uh, King of the Bird People. Uh, he hasn't been released, and before doing another version of the Flash figures, I really would like to see the Voltan figure. I think he would be really cool. There are a lot of others that we're going to take a look at, and others we'll talk about, but for right now, this has been Review Revolution, taking a look at the Flash Gordon Savior of the Universe movie action figure. Rate, subscribe, join the revolution, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.